In this short tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through getting started with Adobe Page. To begin, you can click on the Create a Project blue button and choose Web Page, or you can go straight to where it has the web page on the dashboard. Add a photo by just clicking on the plus button. The photos can be uploaded from your computer, or you can find free photos from Unsplash and Pixabay, which are free to use and share. Choose your background, and when you're ready, with your mouse, scroll up, and we'll give you other options of what you can add to your page. You can add photos, text, buttons, which are links to other web pages, videos, photo grids, a glide show, and split layout. I'll walk you through a handful of these. The first one that I wanna walk you through is glide show. With glide show, you can add multiple images that will then add media on top of them. So let me show you what I mean. I'll add one to begin, just so you can see what it looks like. So here it is. And then I can add more media inside my glide show. So I'm gonna add text. I am a creative. And I'm gonna show examples of how I'm a creative. Now, if I was doing this with students, I would have them add their own images or their own pictures of work that they've created. In this case, I'm just gonna use from the stock images and pretend like it's my own. So I can add different media from inside the glide show. And I can change the way that it looks by adding different headers, or I can add it as a quote. I can center it. And I continue adding as I want. So I can add photo grid, I pretend like I'm this fantastic photo photographer, even though these are not my photos, they're beautiful. But let's say they were, this would be beautiful to add. So I can continue scrolling and adding more and more content to my page and develop out my story. So when I'm ready to preview it, you can see how beautiful it looks when it comes together. And we'll add the credits automatically so your students are adding. And when you add the branding feature, you'll have your brand as well at the bottom of your page. If you create a Spark video, you can also embed different video content. So if you've created a Spark video and you have the link to that video, you would simply paste it inside here and it would show up automatically. Or if you have a link from YouTube or Vimeo, you can do the same. So you're able to embed media into your page. Now, when you are ready to share this, there are a few options. One, you will be able to publish and share the link. You'll give it a name and a category and generate your link. Once your link is created, you can copy it and share it out if you are using Microsoft, you can share it to your class team. You can also have students turn in on classroom, email, and they can share on social. It's also possible to embed the page inside another web page. So if you use something like WordPress or Google Sites, you can take the embed link and embed it inside another web page. You can also have other people share with you, or you can share your project out with others in your class or with your students. You can also change the themes. Now, right off the bat, I have my branded theme since I've set up my brand, but you can also choose from other beautiful templates that they have 
ready for you to use. Cannot wait to see what you create 